Hey guys, what's going on? It is Majority424 here, and this is kind of a uh, tutorial, or not really much of a tutorial, but just kind of showing you one of the weapon creations that I made on the uh, on the Dead Space 3 demo on the bench. And I don't really know why I'm calling it this, but I'm calling it the Purifier. Um, it's actually a pretty damn good weapon, but what mostly inspired me to make it was... I wanted to make the shotgun in Dead Space 3 usable because if, if you guys didn't know for Dead Space 3 the shotgun is I'm gonna be perfectly honest it's pretty terrible just because of the low fire rate it would be perfectly fine if the shotgun maybe shot a bit faster but I guess Isaac can't move his hand fast enough to actually pump the damn thing so it's gotta be every, once every like five seconds so uh, I basically made it usable. It's pretty good. And uh, basically what you do, you get a heavy standard frame, of course, because you can't really make a shotgun without a heavy standard frame. Get a military engine. Get the upper default, or the upper tool. You uh, put a chronic dispersal weapon, or not a weapon, but put a chronic dispersal on it. As bottom, you put a... Uh, da, 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 da. Ah. Pre-pneumic torch, or I'm just going to call it a torch. And uh, you leave the default tip. The the ice one doesn't do enough damage, so just don't don't do that if I were you. Um, for the upgrade circuit, it doesn't really matter too much, but I will show you probably the best attachments for or the upgrades for each one. For the attachment, I would definitely recommend putting stasis coating on. Otherwise, this won't work the way I uh, kind of am showing you. And uh, for for this, you can kind of put whatever you want. I'm just going to leave an attachment off, though. But, uh, basically, just unlock these. And take this. And you want to definitely add at least two damage on it. So, I'm just going to add two damage here. And, so yeah, there we go. There's your damage. And another thing that you might want to add is uh, rate of fire. Just because the shotgun has such a low rate of fire, you might want to add a rate of fire. Once again, this is only for the demo, and you may have to kind of use other components or upgrade circuits. So, like during the campaign. So this is just kind of for the demo for right now. And it's also going to be something I'm going to try to construct during the Dead Space 3 play that I will be doing. Either by myself or with uh, Austin. So yeah, anyway. Um, and if you run out of damage, which once again you probably want to add two damage circuits uh, I would construct a new one because you're able to do that in this because this demo is amazing and uh, so and then I would also upgrade the clip of the flamethrower because you burn the ammo like no other so that's basically the purifier weapon so you could also call it the heavy standard shotgun with a uh, flamethrower on the bottom but I like calling it the purifier because it's a lot catchier. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it does and why it's so good. And uh, so, that's the uh, those are the sights. It looks kind of odd, but those don't really matter too much. So, uh, if you guys didn't know, you're able to activate this switch to make Necromorphs go through that door over there. And uh, then you can test out your weapon. So, let me just tell you basically how this works. Because it's got the stasis coating on it, firing any weapon at it will put them in a small amount of stasis. And I kind of found out that the flamethrower, because it just loads so much onto them at once, it basically puts them into the equivalent of regular stasis. So, puts them in the stasis and you just kind of free shoot because they're, they're pretty much helpless. As you can see, I didn't get touched once during that whole entire... Uh, little way that they had of enemies. So, once again, this is pretty much effective against nearly every single type of necromorph. I'm not, there's probably a few that are actually resistant to this. But overall, this might actually be a good technique to have. Just have a, uh, have stasis coating on, put the flamethrower on. So, yeah, as you can see, once again, didn't get touched. So, and once again, this took about hours of experimenting to finally come around and 
come up with this weapon that I will probably try my best to construct during my playthrough of Dead Space 3. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you got a bit from this. I'm going to do one more way because I love this thing to death. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you got these jerks. But definitely looking forward to Dead Space 3. I can't wait to get some content out there for you guys, you two people who watch. So, <laughs> yeah, love you guys much, and I will see you guys later.